Welcome back to 10 Minute Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain a 2012 fantasy, thriller, and drama film titled, The Brass Teapot. Spoilers ahead, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. The film opens with a married couple named John and Alice, who are currently facing financial troubles. They even find it difficult to pay for food. Even worse, John has been fired from the company because of his poor sales performance. Despite having a nice look and a strong academic career, Alice continues getting rejected for jobs. After she gets home, Arnie, their landlord, visits Alice to collect rent. He is surprised to discover about her financial situation because she used to be one of the most likely high school students who succeeded. Arnie cashes their check to pay the house rent, but Alice loses all hope when she learns that her bank balance would drop to a negative $45. Later that evening, they attend a party hosted by some of their old high school friends, where John catches up with Chuck and the couple indulges in drinks since it's free. The following day, while on way to the grocery store, their car gets hit by a truck, causing them to pull over. At this point, Alice discovers a mystery antique shop run by an old lady. She enters the store quietly, but the old lady notices her and greets her. However, when she leaves to pick up the phone, Alice takes advantage of the chance to steal the teapot and leave the store with her husband right away. The following day, John goes about his boring job as a telemarketing until one of his co-workers shows him a photo of his boss who is having an affair. Meanwhile, Alice, who is preparing for her next job interview, accidentally hurts her head with a curling iron and sizzles, but somehow the stolen teapot suddenly generates money within it. She finally learns that the brass teapot can generate money based on the pain its owner feels. After that, she purposely hurts herself. On the other side, the boss calls John to his room where he expresses his disappointment towards John S. Sale's performance, thus he fires him. The desperate John returns home with a hopeless face. He is shocked when he discovers his house has become very messy and finds a blood stain on the floor. He immediately runs to the bedroom where he finds Alice is lying unconscious. He tells his wife about his dismissal, but Alice is not worried at all and shows him the teapot. John is surprised when several bucks come out of the teapot right after she slaps him. Later, they learn that the teapot will generate more money if its owner feels more severe pain. However, John is worried and says that the teapot is dangerous, but his wife is already addicted to it. The following day, John decides to return the brass teapot to its rightful owner. However, the antique shop is permanently closed and he rethinks his decision since he needs the money for living. He attempts to sell the teapot on a TV show. Dr. Ling, accidentally spots it and is interested in the teapot. Before he sells it, John agrees with Alice to use the teapot up until they have enough cash, like exactly a million to pay off all of their debts. Then they willfully injured themselves in a number of ways, like getting a tattoo, visiting the dentist, etc. The following day, the pair decides to meet up at Alice's sister's house to catch up. Alice's mother still finds it unbelievable that John is able to pay off all of their debts while working as a salesman. John feels insulted, and the atmosphere at lunch grows unpleasant. The loser couple has now finally achieved financial success. Suddenly, two strange men wearing Harry Potter outfits approach the couple and claim the teapot to be their precious family treasure. They tell John while beating him that, the old lady in the antique shop is actually their own grandmother, who passed just a few days ago, and that they are here to get the teapot. Alice, who successfully conceals the teapot, admits that they sold the teapot and hands them the whole cash. The men leave the house after getting the money. Later, when they look for the brass teapot's origin in the library, Alice comes upon a book that indicates that the teapot is actually very dangerous. In order to prevent John from seeing the message, Alice stealthily tears out the page. After many difficult months, the couple is finally able to buy their ideal home and car. They even manage to host their own party, at which John invites his one and only closest friend to try the brand new vodka. Dr. Ling unexpectedly visits their home and expresses curiosity in the teapot. But the couple won't let it go. Ling warns them that they must give it to him before it's too late. They don't give a damn and brutally kick him out. The following evening, Alice and John are having dinner with some of their old wealthy friends, who at first don't think much of them. Shortly after, Arnie goes to see them and tells them how jealous he is of them because they suddenly became very rich. 
He abruptly snatches the teapot and throws it on the road before running over it with his car. The couple is panicked, but it doesn't even leave a scratch since it was made from high-quality material. They go to Dr. Ling, who explains the history of the brass teapot. The teapot is very dangerous and he promises to get rid of the teapot if the couple give it to him since it cannot be destroyed. Alice becomes greedy and refuses to give it to Dr. Ling. Later that night, the weird men break into the house and rob all their money again. Turns out that they don't care about the teapot and just want all their money. Alice tries to retrieve her money, but she faints as one of the men hits her in the head. In the morning, Alice cries in despair because they have lost all the money and the teapot generates less money than before. Because of that, John deliberately goes to a pub and challenges a big fella to fight him. He ends up beaten up badly and battered. One day, Alice learns that the teapot can also generate money based on the nearby people's pain after a skateboarder falls in front of her. Realizing that hurting themselves is not necessary anymore to generate money, they then go to a boxing match and hire someone to get a tattoo. On their way home, Alice becomes uncontrollable and craves for more money. She almost deliberately hits a man with her car, luckily John manages to swerve the car and avoid the collision. Alice becomes enraged and scolds John, yelling at him that he is useless. John is hurt by her words, but the teapot suddenly produces money. Not long after, the couple learns that the teapot can also generate money from psychological pain. Since then, the couple keeps exchanging their darkest secrets to each other. One of the secret that makes John shocked is that Alice turns out to have once let Arnie go down on her. As soon as possible, John goes to Arnie's campground and tells Brandy the secret, setting off a fight between the two of them. When Arnie notices the teapot, he develops doubts about it. They intend to end other people's relationships by revealing all of their secrets in order to get more money. In a parcel to their arrogant neighbor, they bring their deceased dog, who turns out to be dead as a result of his wife's carelessness. Additionally, John tells his ex-wife bosses that her husband is having an affair, which makes them even richer. The cold-hearted couple even has plans to reveal Alice's sister's secret to her husband, but it turns out that they still have pity and stop their plan. Alice offers they kill a drug dealer or a pedophile to get a huge amount of money from the teapot because she is still unsatisfied with the money she makes. As they are about to dig a grave for their intended victim, John sees his wife is turning evil, so he quickly leaves. He pays Dr. Ling a covert visit and asks for his assistance. He tells him to hand over the teapot quickly. When John gets back home, he discovers the book's missing page. He tells Alice that if she continues, he will jump of the window and kill himself. After putting on a dramatic performance, John is able to persuade her to stop because Alice continues to prefer him over money. Arnie breaks into the couple's home later that evening and takes the brass teapot. The following day, they visit Arnie's caravan where John confronts Arnie in combat since they must bring the teapot to Dr. Ling personally. Brandy arrives shortly after, and the duo makes an attempt to murder John and Alice. But the strange man from earlier appears out of nowhere, and a gunfight breaks out between the crazy couple and the strange man. With the exception of Alice and John, everyone is shot and killed, and as a result, the teapot makes a huge amount of cash. After collecting all the money, they ultimately agree to give the teapot to Dr. Ling, who has been waiting outside. The couple then makes the decision to leave the city with their old car and donate their money to their friends who are less fortunate. And in the end, Dr. Ling tosses the brass teapot into the ocean, so that no one could ever get hands on the teapot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the videos on your screen. And at last, I would say stay well, stay safe, thanks.